Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Dad Gizmo here for Baby Gizmo. Today we're talking about the Burley Tail Wagon. And basically, as you can see, it's a bike trailer for your, your pets. So a lot of times, especially in the south, it gets really hot, but I still wanna take Gracie out and get her some fresh air. And so the Tail Wagon gives me that opportunity. So this bike trailer can hold up to 75 pounds, um, connects to any bike, which is really kind of a nice feature to it. It has a bunch of different safety features as well. Like it has reflectors on both the front and the back. And as you can see, Gracie likes to see out the front. So we flip the front thing thing open so she can see out the front. But there is actually the ability to, for them to also look out the back of the tail wagon. So you can actually flip this open and uh, you can see Gracie in there. Where are you, Grace? There she is. And so there she is at the tail wagon. And so she, you can open it up this way as well and let her in and out. The other good features of it is, obviously you don't want your pet to jump out of a trailer when, she's, when it's moving. So there is some, there's some um, tie downs that are inside the wagon as well. So it allows you to actually make sure that she's safe, but still um, gets inside the wagon and, and has a good time um, traveling around. It also has big storage pockets in the back. So when you have treats or if you have a water bowl or anything else that you want to put in here, it has the ability to have that. And it has a locking tire functionality as well. So they're air-filled tires, so make sure they're air-filled you, before you leave. So it has that, they are lockable so that if you're on a hill or whatever, you can lock the wheels to make sure that it doesn't roll out. So the other thing it has, which is really kind of nice, is it has pockets that are built into the top of this as well. So the top features of this have this built in. Okay, the other nice feature is it has two easy, just like elastic bands here that allow you to open it up so you can actually get your pet in and out very easily. And the other nice feature of it is, if you have a bigger dog and you just wanna give them an easy way to get in uh, and out, but if you have a smaller dog and you wanna make sure they stay in there and you wanna make sure they stay under that 75 pound weight capacity, if you have a smaller dog, you wanna make sure it's got uh, the ability to keep the dog in. Another nice feature is you can actually remove the bottom of this to actually clean the, if, you know, if you have an accident or you spill water or the grass gets in there or sand, whatever it may be, you can remove this and take it out and get it nice and clean. There's a couple different tie downs that are in here. There's two on the side. There's also a couple that are in the front as well. So however you wanna tie down your, um, your pet to make sure that they don't jump out of this. And I would always recommend that you do that. Even if they feel comfortable in it, that they're sitting really nice, I would still make sure to tie them down to uh, keep, that, keep your pet safe. So if you actually put these straps back, another nice feature of it, you can actually unzip this to give your pet a bunch of air as well. So it's got nice things where you can actually roll it up. So you can roll this whole thing up and strap it in with some, some Velcro, but it gives your pet plenty of air as well as another additional pocket in case you need that additional pocket for this. So you have that as well. The other nice feature from the front is if you have a smaller pet and you wanna keep, keep it all fully enclosed, you have the ability to do that. So if you have a pet that's a little bit more skittish and you don't want them to jump out, you have the ability to fully enclose it, but still allow air from the front and the back. If you're having some weather, you don't want your pet to get wet, or it's cooler outside, you can certainly zip these things down to make it fully enclosed and kind of keep a little bit more warmth in there for your pet. So another nice feature of it is it has a kickstand ability. So I just tipped my bike over here, but it has a kickstand ability. So it keeps it nice and flat for your pet to be able to get in and out. And it's just an easy thing that you can actually flip up and flip down. So it has that. And the other nice feature of it is, no matter what type of bike you have, um, you have the ability to actually attach this to either side. So the component that actually goes to the bike is easily detachable. So you can put it on this side, or you can put it on the other side, whichever way it fits for your bike. Obviously you don't want it around your gears. So for me, I have it on this side of my bike. Other safety features of it, it has this, nylon strap so clearly it's something that you want to be basically easy to be able to attach and de detach and attach so it has a pull out feature like that boom your trailer's off your bike you can take a ride on your own in case you want to leave your pet at home or, or for whatever reason 
and this just stays in your bike, doesn't affect anything, really nice and easy. But then when you want your pet to go with you, it's super easy as well, just to reattach it. Slide the thing through the hole, make sure it clamps into the thing. And then this is just a secondary safety thing, in case that ever came undone for whatever knows, God knows why reason. You can wrap this around the frame of your bike and clip it to whatever, to the bottom here. And then you'll make sure that even if this actually came undone, it would just, it would still stay attached to your bike. So there wouldn't be a safety, um, a safety issue for, for your pet um, going on a runaway bike trailer. Another nice feature, obviously safety first. So we have a nice flag, orange flag for it. And if you actually see, we got wheel guards on it, which is nice, a nice feature as well to make sure that you know things don't get caught in your wheels. It also has a, a handlebar location. So if you see the holes along each side of this, you can actually make this into a pet stroller. So you can get the wheels for the front of it. There's a handlebar that straps in here, which has a foam pad to it. And you actually can just walk with your stroller, with, or walk with your pet as a stroller as well, instead of having it as a bike trailer. So again, air fill tires to it. Another nice feature of this is obviously it's, when it's fully open, there's plenty of room for your dog, but you don't want to store it that way. So a nice feature um, that it has is you have the ability to actually fold it down. So these two red straps, they come apart. And as you basically just fold it flat like that, and it gives it a little bit more of a compact fold, as well as you can remove the tires very easily. So the tires actually just have the same type of feature that you have on any bike, right? So you can easily just flip those tires off, pull it all down, and you have everything pretty much compact. This removes very easily as well. So if it's bigger in your trunk, you know, you can take care of that. Then just to, to set it up again, really quick and easy, you just really got to get the, the black pieces on top of the, the other bar, clamp it into place, whatever kind of setup you want, and then you're ready to go. A great feature of this is it's really no different than any bike trailer that you have that you put your kids in and you took your kids for a ride. It, you don't feel any extra weight from it. The big tires on it make it really easy and comfortable for a ride. Um, you don't feel like you're pulling anything with this as well, which is really kind of a nice feature, even though like Gracie's probably 45 pounds. A couple of, feet, a couple of things of this. One, it's a little bit pricey at $3.99. But if you are one of those people that want to take your pet with you wherever you may go, the grocery store, bike rides, running, whatever you got to do, this is definitely something that you want to take a look at. So it's a little pricey at $3.99, but if that's, if that's what you do with your pet, then it's obviously something that you want to take a look at. This is obviously going to be something new for your pet, so they might be a little skittish the first couple times that they go in it. But when we saw Gracie, Gracie got in it pretty easy. Um, she's a little bit nervous, but she got used to it really quickly after a couple of rides and then she kind of just sat back and just like the like the wind blowing through her hair. So um, so it'll be something that your pet will have to take a few times to get used to. Okay, so that was a brilliant tail wagon. It's a pet trailer for your dog. Please like our videos and subscribe to us and we'll see you next time. Thanks.